Hello everyone, it's Connie here from the Daily Life of Creativity and today I am sharing another project using the Sweet and Spooky collection by Doodlebug Designs. Home Sweet Home and this is a chipboard album. You can see here different options on what you can do with it. It comes with all those pages and a ring. This album measures 7 by 5 so I have already started by cutting all the pages out from the collection. And here I am using my liquid glue to mat them to my chipboard and then using my scissors to cut the pieces that are not meant to be there, okay? I am pretty much going to be covering one side with the pattern paper and then the other side with a solid card stack. This is my second album with this collection and I am having so much fun. Are you using this collection already or are you using something different? Are you going to get the chipboard mini album? I know I will go ahead and link it in the description box below so you can get it. But I love this collection. This collection is so cute and you can do so many things with it. I have seen beautiful projects created with it. I mean, I'm talking about just embellishments. Like the happy male girls, they go all out with different things. <laughs> they are amazing. All the stitching they do, the shaker little cards and embellishments, they are insane. But I stick to what I like to do and sometimes I love learning new things. So of course, I give it a try. <laughs> it's all about having fun creating, guys. It's not about comparing ourselves to anyone, but just doing what you love and learning new tricks so you can get better at doing what you love doing, right? So now we are starting to work on the front of the house, the little house with all the little windows and the door. And here I am removing the door part if you want. You can leave it, but it's not gonna show if you use the paper on the top. So I recommend for you to cut it out and do something different. Add a paper in the background for the door like I did. Um, so I am trying to get those off, trim it with my scissors. Okay, so here I am back showing you what I did with the windows. So once you mat the paper in front of the album, you can cut an X across corner to corner and you can push the paper back into the album. You can mat another paper in the background of it, okay? I just knew that I wanted the spider webs in the back since I'm using a Halloween collection. I thought it would look like the house creating like a little scene, like it's decorated and it just looks cute. So here I'm punching my holes and I am going to be trimming away the pieces, points of the paper, but still leaving some paper so I can adhere it and keep it from flipping through the other side. So now I am adding double-sided tape to the back so I can <clears throat> adhere the papers. And now I am going to show you that I have already created a little scene with different pattern papers, some little curtain, some of the puffy stickers from the collection, and the sprinkles. And um, you can see there that I have a paper behind it for the door, but I don't think that's the one that I'm leaving. 
I created this project a while ago, so I am trying to think what I did. Um, here I am using this color trim from the 12 by 12 car stack sticker. So here now I am adding another tree from the sticker sheet and more of the puffy embellishments from the puffy sticker sheet. And I think I'm done for the cover page. I just created a little scene with different cute little ghosts and the little spooky children looking out the window and a little kitty by the door <laughs> and the window. It just looks adorable. So I added a couple of interactive pages. This one here, you will need a paper that measures 11 by five and three fourths. And you will score on the longest side at two and a quarter and seven inches okay and i added a magnet okay for this one here let me see This one is also 11 inches by five and three fourths, and you will score at two and a quarter and seven. And I also added a magnet to keep it closed, but you don't have to. You can add some trim and different things to keep the keep it closed. And to mat the paper, I think I'll trim about one eighth of an inch all around so that's what you need um to cover it if you don't want to you can just use embellishments on top of it or do what you like doing to it you don't have to do exactly what i'm doing so here you will see me adding a magnet and just going through the different type of papers that i want to add to the interactive page or signatures or whatever you call them. I'm using um, double-sided tape because I just feel like it works better when you have those magnets. If not, I would be using liquid glue. This one I did not close, cut exactly to size, but I still left it. Just to trim it using my scissors and it worked perfectly fine. And I'm going to be adding an embellishment from the Bits and Odds ephemera pack, an other little tree, and I should have added that ghost. <laughs> but I won't. But I will add the boo. <laughs> I added some little enamel dots and that is it for that page. This one you need an eight and a half by six and you will score on the longest which is four at four and four and a quarter and I'm also just using some embellishments from the car stack sticker just creamy little papers to 
piece it together and keeping it simple but just adding a few embellishments to complete the pages that I have here now before adding some photos to it of course because I feel like you don't truly really finish an album until you have all your photos or your things that you add to it you know just depending the purpose of the book All right, so this one here is eight and a half by five and three fourths. You score on the longest side, which is four and three fourths. That paper that I matted on top of the white cardstock is from the six by six paper pad. <laughs> I just loved all the little cute little monsters or little children dressed up with little pumpkins. It's very cute. I'm just adding here a phrase. And that was it for that page. For the next one, let me see here. <laughs> I'm looking at the Doodle Bug Designs blog because that's where I have all the measurements. So if you want to know exactly what I did, I will go ahead and put the link down below. For this page, I have single pages. I made it a five and a half by four and a half of white cardstock. And everything was embellished using the chit chat embellishments, this and that stickers, add and end sprinkles. So that's what I did. And I did the same thing for this one too. Just keeping it simple so I have spaces for the photos, and then when the photos are added, then that's when you can go crazy <laughs> with all the embellishments. <laughs> if you want, if not, you can leave it the way it is. So I went back to embellish this interactive page and I'm adding a tree, a cute little hose and some guys. I don't know, but I love the acetate pieces that come and the ephemera packs they're very cute i've seen some cute projects created with those they almost look like they're not there but they're floating it's so cute so here i'm adding a tab from the car set stickers so it can flip easier and just adding some little sprinkles and i think that is it for that one so it's coming together beautifully. Behind the first cover page, I'm also matting a paper, a single page. And a little more embellishments and that's it. I think this is the one that flips up so don't do what i did here just the paper you will need an 11 and 7 8 by four and a half and you will score at five and seven eighths on the longest side and this one flips up because you see that i trimmed two different papers if you want to use your scraps this is exactly what i did here so Maybe do the same, I don't know. It just depends on what you're working with. And I added a strip from the car stack sticker and a little phrase at the bottom. I love adding uh, foam to everything. Sometimes I just love layers. So here you see me <clears throat> playing around to see where I want to add things. All right, so this Doodle Bug Designs Collection, Sweet and Spooky Collection, comes with also a 12 by 12 paper pack, texture card stack assortment, 
and that is what I'm using to mat on every opposite page um, to leave I'm just leaving it blank because maybe I add photos or just use it for different purposes I'm not sure okay so for the back of the chipboard I'm doing something really fun I love adding sequin mixes to my projects so here I am using the heavy acetate that comes in the collection also and just stitching it around leaving the top open with my sewing machine of course and but you can use your double-sided tape to keep this closed or use what works for you when creating a shaker this is just what works for me and what the method that i like using and i created this sequin mix and just Okay, so just stitching that close for now and that is it for this all I think that was the last thing that I did for the pages and of course and I'm going to use um, cardstock to cover the tr um, stitching in the back and since I did some holes so I can add the album to the rings I added those because if not the sequences will be coming out from those holes this would keep them in all right so here it is guys i'm using some trim to and tool to add it to the rings and that was the last finishing touch for the album Hey guys so that was the last step for the mini album thank you so much for stopping by so i am going to be doing a quick flip through on how the pages looked make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel um, you can follow me also on instagram and just come back to see what else i will share and if you made it all the way to the end of this video leave me a comment I love hearing from you. Let me know if you liked what I did to this album, what was your favorite step, or if you learned anything new. Okay. Bye.